morning everyone hey good morning good morning welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to loving it on keto how is everybody today <coughs> excuse me it's cold outside it's about 58 degrees so I've got a little bolero jacket on today to stay warm while I go to work oh you got your moccasins on today yes I got my mini tonga moccasins on look at these man they're so dark. And they have a little zip up the back. They're so comfortable. Oh my gosh, because they're sold. You know? Yeah. They're so comfy cozy. <sighs> Love Mini Tonga. My, a lot of my Southwestern sandals, my moccasins. I've got three pairs of moccasins now. Are all Mini Tongas. I love them. Super comfortable. Especially in the fall and winter when my toes get cold at work. And when she dances <clears> around with <throat> a fire. Yep. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Go camping. There's Wendy outside dancing around a fire. I do. I do. Scare the weight off October weight loss challenge. Today's the 16th. It's a refuel your body today. Eat a higher end of your regular macros today. Stay keto. Make high protein your priority and move your body. You guys. I've got steak in the fridge that we're going to eat today. Yeah. What was the little finger for? Your do's thing? and don'ts aren't there. I got Camp Bow Wow's oh, schedule. Over it right now? There are do's and don'ts we have. And uh, it kind of loosely follows Dr. Westman's diet. But you guys, now Harry, that just took my brain, just took I'm my sorry. thought right out. Wow. Oh. No. Dang nabbit. My brain just went, what? I don't know. I was going to say something and that just took me off track to that. Anyway, you guys, everything that you eat the day before and sometimes, what? You want to stop for a minute? <laughs> so you can collect your thoughts? You gotta quit interrupting me, I'm sorry. because now I forgot what I'm gonna do again. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> Cameraman's not helping. <gasps> okay, let's go to this next part, okay? Everything that you eat or drink the day before and sometimes two days prior can have a direct effect on your weight. I had a migraine yesterday. I called in sick yesterday. I was on naproxen yesterday morning in my fever few, um, trying to uh, get rid of it. And I just felt the dull. I felt dull yesterday. That's what I felt. But, um, yeah, you weren't very shiny. Any, thank you. I wasn't a shiny new penny. I was a dull one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, um, Harry took uh, Tylenol last night. So I took it this morning too. And the, the challenge was is Facebook was doing its weird thing oh, and God. nothing not would Facebook. load. Not YouTube. Facebook. Not Facebook. YouTube. YouTube would not load. It was slow as molasses. It took what two and a half hours to load our video. Granted, it is long, but you guys, we announced the winners. There's three. So don't forget. Should I go get the names real no. quick again? Yeah, sure. Hold on. So the Granberry Drops, uh, Sandy S1, the Keto Chow Chocolate and Beef Base, Elaine Smith one, and the Chow Club is Mad Vito 55. Yes, indeed. So you guys need to leave me a comment that you see that you won and that you are sending me an email at lovingitonketo at gmail.com with your full name, address, and telephone number. Do not put that information in the comments. Send it to me via email, and we'll get those packages right out to you. You guys have until Sunday's video comes out uh, and, and um, getting that information because on Monday, I want to mail everybody's package. So just wanted to leave that information for everybody. Now, let me put this back. I know what I want to talk about. Okay, when I first started, when Harry and I first started our ketogenic journey, I used to use MyFitnessPal. And then we got our watches. They have Fitbit. So I've been using Fitbit for logging our foods. And I'm not happy with that app because I try to, you can't add recipes. You can build a food, but you have to have all the information on a piece of paper and then put it in and it doesn't populate right. So I've had a sneaking suspicion over this last month or two that the amount 
of food calorie wise that we're showing is not what it actually is. I feel like it should be higher, should be more. So I went to a chronometer and I'm also trying to, uh, let, me, let me digress just a second. I'm trying to get the nutritional information for all of my recipes and because you guys always ask that and i don't have it readily available well uh chronometer 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 so that's good enough yeah any chrono chrono i'm confused on it too, anyway so. sorry uh chronometer has a recipe builder where you can import you can just cut and copy and paste the recipe instructions and everything. Oh, wow. So I went in. No wonder you were yes, busy like a little mouse last like night. I was busy like a bee last night. Yeah, I had man. my recipes because I wanted to add every single ingredient, like every half teaspoon of garlic, every half teaspoon of onion, all the things into a real recipe, right? And track total carbs because a lot of you are and me too confused on do i want to add all these things that have micro carbs less than a carb do i want to add the erythritol and the monk fruit and uh allulose well yeah i do i want to really know and then i can say okay what's the net carbs off of that but you guys i went through and did some of my recipes into it added everything up and I got a better, I think the most true picture of what we actually ate yesterday based on chronometer. So if you're looking, it's chronometer, C-R-O-N-O-M-E-T-E-R, -E -E chronometer. That's what it looks like I, to that's me. That's what but, it looks like to me, but you but guys let again, me know. chronometer is chronometer, possible. how you how you pronounce it yeah, anybody knows spell it phonetically chronometer is what i'm thinking because we want to say it right babe. but anyway i want to share uh, because i'm gonna be building my e-cookbook and i want to get the nutritional information on all my recipes so i started using it yesterday i don't like the view that i have on my daily view i see some of you guys have a different view where it shows the pie chart and a bunch of stuff so i'm i'm playing with it i'm working with it i'd like to stay in the free version but maybe uh the stuff i see you guys using um jelly fat to keto what do you use melanie you know hein from princess ninja and keto what do you use when you guys show your app what do you guys um what app are you guys using? Let me yeah, know. and you guys out there just you know that yeah. are watching. What are you guys using? And do you guys pay for the more extended version, or do you just stick with the simple free version? Cause I want a really good version. I really do. So with that, I'm going to share what Harry and I had to She's eat yesterday. She's so confused. No, I'm not confused, but I want to do what people are asking. Well, yeah, maybe I am confused just a little bit, cause I, my brain just Thank totally. You. You're Thank welcome. you. Ooh, Thank he's you. growling at me, you guys. Arr, he's growling. Arr. He's growling. Okay. Arr. So we had yesterday the same thing. Two slices of the apple spice cinnamon bread that I make that's absolutely delicious. It toasted wonderfully with the swirled in. Yeah, so um, we, we probably put about a tablespoon of butter because we each had two slices. I then made a... Um, high protein banana flambeau custard that was absolutely delicious oh, man, that was so good it's so good in you guys my new um my new uh remkins that i bought uh, several months ago now have the little lid so harry's got one left <laughs> yeah harry's got one left you know you oops. i got that oops it's okay it ain't going anywhere there there you go. Anyway, so good, so good. And then I made ground turkey chili, a high protein, uh, modified fast, uh, spare, excuse me. Protein spray, modified fast, ground turkey chili. Day before yesterday, and it sat in the refrigerator all night. And man, was that good. Oh, that was so I good. I think the oh best thing to goodness. do is spaghetti sauce, lasagna, chili is to let it sit overnight uh -huh. because you get that just it just is delicious so we had eight ounce chili we also had caramel macchiato keto chow ice cream that was 
amazing because you guys, I used unsweetened coconut milk in it instead of just water like I normally do. Oh, it was creamy. It was smooth. It, my mom was even over there. Mm, this is the now, best you know, ice cream it I've was, ever It really had. was. It really oh, was. I yeah. mean, my goodness. It, oh, the, yeah. It was so creamy. It was so It good. was. And oh, this is, my gosh. I used the so delicious dairy-free organic coconut unsweetened. And for a cup, it's 45 calories, 4 grams of fat, 2 carbs, zero protein, but it's clean, it's healthy, and man, woo, it was good. It was so good. <gasps> Collagen, I wanted ice cream. I wasn't feeling good, right? Yeah. You don't feel good? Didn't your mom give you ice cream? Mine did. That's mine what got mine me just to where gave I me am. a hard time. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Three <laughs> tablespoons key to creamer. So this is a little different. And I hope I pulled the right numbers. 35% protein for a total of 115.5. And this is in the order that I that it shows on my um, daily report in my um, journal. 3% carbs for a total of 35.9. I'll explain that number. 62% fat for a total of 97.5. And we had 1,400 and 13 calories. Now, the carbs are high because I put all the allulose, all the brown sugar, all the cinnamon, all the seasonings I used and built my recipes for, for the apple spice cinnamon bread, the banana flambeau custard, and the turkey chili, and the caramel macchiato had um, keto chow in them and had um, allulose, monk fruit and or erythritol in there okay so what does that mean well nothing but people are going to start seeing i think for me i'm seeing truer numbers now if i did net carbs that carb would drop dramatically because of the sugar uh substitutes that really don't have any effect on your body but i don't want to go down the net carb road no i don't like doing I don't. net stuff because I I, don't. it's it it it, to me, it's just untrue. I, I think it's... Well, there's a debate on, well, you can use yeah. half of it, you know, use half of that fiber, and I don't want to play that math no. game to trick my brain I would rather to just thinking go, it's okay. That's right. right. I just want to go with what it is, and right. I knew I wasn't doing it as, cor as correct as I could on something that actually allows me to add every single line item on a recipe. Right. So... I mean, think about it, you know, the seasonings and stuff, how many people count those? So that's why I went to chrono chronometer, chronometer, excuse yeah. me. Now, I went up two tenths of a pound, but you guys, that is still lower than my... Um... You're up top. Where am I? Up oh, top. 172.4, so, I went up two tenths. It's okay, Wendy, we've only been doing this for a couple of years. So. I know, I know, I know, but I was thinking of something else and pointing at the same time. So I am still really good. I am two tenths of a pound up, yeah. and I took all of those pills and had a migraine yesterday, so I'm happy with that. I know that I'll whoosh. Harry went... Uh oh. 166.6. I went up four tenths, man. But I always four do that when I take Tylenol. Yes, you do. So, but you're hovering around your yeah, yeah, set yeah. point right yeah. here. So I'm okay with all of Plus, that. Plus, you know, let's face it, when I stay up really late, I tend to visit the kitchen. Oh, well, you had uh, carnivore crisps last night, and you said you had the chicken. Yeah. I'm having my, um, I'm putting my iodine drops in my water. Putting two drops. I'm having some real light immunity. This is the pineapple orange. I feel like a pineapple orange today. You look like a pineapple. Thank no, you. No. I don't look spiny like a pineapple. A bright, shiny orange like an orange, maybe. Yeah, yeah there you but go. Yeah. In black. In black. <laughs> they have black. Well, They're a Halloween orange. That's yeah. what it is, yeah. <coughs> the powder. To me. Did you shake it? Oh yeah, that was a good shake. That'll do it. Well, I'm gonna go to work here. Let me put this hamburger away. Harry got up this morning and made hamburger and stuff too, for Sally and for us.
That's cool. Got your vitamins right here. I'm going to go on Amazon today and get you a vitamin pill yeah, like mine. Yeah, I need one of big ones like you got. Mine's wonderful. I love it. Be great for love Disneyland. It. I know. <clears throat> this over here. I'm going to put this over here. And then Harry. I think it's time for the big board. What do you think? What? I think it's time for the big board. First thing I want to point out is something really weird. Today is our 666th. It's 666. It's October. And I weighed in at 166.6. Oh, you did. <gasps> you got it twice. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. Today's going to be a very interesting day, I think. Oh, no. It's just a number. It's just a number. Anyway, so yes. how you doing? Show me everything. Show me everything. Well, we both ate basically the same thing, you know, but we both took... Uh, Anti-inflammatories, yeah, painkillers yesterday. Night. Yeah. And we both went up. Two tits because what we ate was, I mean, 1413. And the only thing was, is that right? On on the on the uh, on the protein was only 97. Is that right? Well, you're asking me way over here. Well, hold on a minute. Protein's at the top. 97. Now. Yeah. So we were really, really, really low on our protein yesterday. Well, according to chron yeah. chronometer. Right. I know. I understand that. Chronometer. Right. Excuse That's me. That's what we're going by, right? Yes, so we are. So we were low. That's got to go by that because that's what it says. 97. So it's really was low. Fat was so pretty okay. 35. I'd like to say around 30. But you know how that is. When you're eating meat. You know. So, yeah. That's what well, no, saying. yesterday wasn't a protein sparing modified fast day. So you can have more fat and you can have more carbs. Oh, you could. That's the day. Huh? Yes. Was it's a not refeed? a protein. Is that considered a refeed? No, today's the refeed. Yesterday was normal. So what do we eat today? We're having steak. Everything we want? Yes. That's keto. Okay. So that's, that'll be interesting. You can Let's have some of my bread for breakfast. You can put a little bit of butter on it. Right. You can have that with your coffee. Yeah. You can have your hamburger bowl for lunch, and right. we're having steak for dinner. Okay. And maybe some ice cream, too. i got to work out the macros. First, let me figure out chronometer. Yeah, okay. You go figure him out. Yeah, I'm going to figure him out. Honey, you got it wrong. Honey, look. Protein is 115. See, you're on autopilot. I said these are in a different order. So you've got these backwards. Well, you backwards. can't do that. It screws me all but up. But this is how they are in chronometer. Chronometer. That's Chrono chronometer. you got to fix the board because we had 115. Great. Oh, I'm it's sorry. still low. It's still low well, on the protein. Well, don't fight with me about it. Fix it. There you go. Well, I should eat. I need to eat more meat. Yes, you do. But I, had, I did have some of those... Uh, Skins last Yeah, night. everybody, remember that. Don't gripe about it. Just go fix it. That's what I used to tell the kids. That's yeah. the that's the mom in me. Anyway, you guys, I oh my gosh, it's six thirty six. I've got to go to work now. See you later. Bye. <laughs>
spice cinnamon protein sparing modified fast bread is delicious. How does it look in there? I want to make sure it doesn't burn. It just gets toasty. Should we take a peek? Yes. Gotta use a knife sometimes to get it out. Oh, turn it. Anyway, I'll share when I get it all done. Look at that buttered apple spice cinnamon bread. Oh, and a cup of coffee. Yes, indeed. Man, that looks good with butter on it. Mm -mm. And my whole kitchen area in the back smells like cinnamon toast. And I get to eat it. Yes, indeed. Hey, you guys. I am taking a walk today. They are chopping trees and planting flowers and doing all kinds of gardening stuff. So if they start um, turning on their machinery, I'm gonna have to turn this off. But anyway, you guys, it's absolutely beautiful outside. Yes, it is. So I am out taking a walk. They're bringing all the geraniums and planting white and red geraniums everywhere and it always looks so pretty when they're done but anyway you guys get up and move your body because it's beautiful right now hopefully it's not too cold where you're at you may have already gotten snow my sister Lori sent pictures they've had snow three times now in Idaho so I think it's gonna be a cold wet winter this year you know so anyway She, yeah, she sent pictures of her ranch and there's snow everywhere. So it's, it's a wonder, it's a winter wonderland there. Ooh, it's bright. Sorry, everybody. Anyway, I am going to move my body. I'm going to get up several times today and make sure that I take a beautiful walk out in the pretty nice weather and sunshine. So... <laughs> doing all kinds of gardening so it's a huge process because we have a lot of plants and foliage and they're all everywhere getting them all put in Ooh, check it out yeah see they're putting the flowers in they're getting them ready for the walkways and such cleaning all the stuff anyway we've got a whole bunch of people planting flowers so anyway you guys take a walk move your body well you guys I am having my four ounce ribeye the last of it and I like it cold because I want it that medium rare and it's so tender and delicious I've got a strawberry Perrier I have been drinking green tea because it is delicious in this nice cool weather. But that's part of my lunch and I'm gonna eat that first and then I'm gonna heat up some other stuff. So just wanted to share that with everybody. Oh, oh you know what that means. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. Hmm. When you made this bread the other day, so like cinnamon bread, you know? In fact, that's what it is, it's cinnamon bread, pretty much. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so. Anyways, what am I gonna have for lunch today? Let's see. Ah. I made some of this this morning before she went to work so she could have some if she wanted it. I also got it, made it for the made it for the puppy too because she likes that. And she and I got one of these, man. It's a creme it's like a creme brulee. Um, she made it last night and it was on I think it was on yesterday's video. And oh my gosh. So I chose my words. Gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh, oh my God. If, if you guys have a chance to be able to make something like that, you need to make that. Like, right now. 
go back to yesterday's video and check it out. But we're gonna make mine right now, and it's basically gonna be what I like because you know I'm trying to lose the weight, so I'm sticking to those things that really work for me. Oh. And I've been taking a lot of Tylenol, so I know the Tylenol usually, usually gives me like two tenths or uh, sometimes four tenths. And I've had it gone as high as a pound on water weight if I've had them all throughout the day, but I just had a couple this morning, so you know we'll have to see tomorrow how it how it reflects because I did go up um, four tenths from taking them uh, yesterday. I, I get a lot of back pain and sometimes headaches right around this area and they can't do anything about it so all they kept telling me was take Tylenol so that's about all they can really do unless they want they wanted to inject these two these needles were this long up into each side underneath there and uh, I think it's cortisone or something like that I can't remember and uh, inject that stuff in there but I didn't know that's okay they wanted to do it like every four months. I'm like, no, that's okay. I'll figure it out a way. But, you know, since I've ate, started eating keto, it's really, really changed it. I'm able to actually get around, walk, do things. It doesn't bother me like they did before, which which is really, really freaking fantastic for me, you know. Now, I'm, have, have you guys experienced that? If, if Those of you that have uh, had the migraines, once you got on the keto for a while and you got fat adapted... Did you notice a difference in your migraines? Because I, I noticed a big, big difference. They only get about maybe halfway there now. I'm hoping eventually to get rid of them all together. That would be cool. be cool, but we'll have to see. Anyways, let's get to making this uh, really quick. Because you know what it's, it's, it's all about. I've done this a, a few times before, but we're going to do it again. Uh, because I just really like it. And I'm going to, of course, going to have this with it <laughs> yeah yeah i am let's do it let's make it right now because i really want to eat right now tylenol does that that's another thing does it make you hungry when you take tylenol yeah yeah so oh uh so let's go ahead and do this i'm kind of like done with this by the way i i did put this on in, in the uh, in our little store there because a lot of people asked for these we had, actually I was kind of amazed quite a few people asked about this particular unit so I went ahead and hooked it up down there for you if you're interested let me put this thing away yeah that is one thing I have found out about doing the uh, keto diet is the changes that's one of the changes and of course I had the uh, Heart that basically kind of fixed itself, which is kind of dismaying. It kind of blows people's minds when you tell them that, but it's the truth. And uh, I feel that anybody that has any kind of health problem should at least give this a try, you know, to see how it help if it helps them or if it doesn't help them. Um, I haven't really talked to anybody that it hasn't helped in some way shape or form. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems for a lot of people is just getting off just getting off the sugar because they get so hungry you know but if you could just get them to like get fat adapted they'll find out that that goes away which is really kind of cool. Anyways so I'm gonna do basically uh, well I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna have six ounces today six ounces of this. Let's get going on this. I probably could eat more, but I'm not. I'm gonna try to keep myself from doing that. Of course, Wendy will probably say, "I'll take six and a half." That's all right. Six and a half is good. We'll go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some uh, mustard on here though first before I heat it this time. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna throw it in here. Shield of protection. And it's not to protect the microwave. <laughs> oh yeah, 45 seconds, right? That's what I always, yeah, that's my, that's that, that's that magic number for me, man. 45 seconds. They're 
All right, there it is. Got my spoon in hand. I'm ready. You know it. All right, let's take this out of here. Oh. You know, I, I just never get tired of it. It's kind of strange. Maybe it's kind of strange. I don't know. Maybe it's because I always ate hamburgers when I was a kid and also as an adult and also all the way up to the time before I became a vegan. Oh, boy. I don't even want to go into that. I mean, it works for some people, but it boss it just did not work for me or for Wendy either. Just didn't work. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have something with this. Can you guess what that's going to be? Well, I'm having me get this Arrowhead Vitamin, or Arrowhead Mountain Sp Vitamin. I don't know where the vitamin came from. Anyway, Mount is Arrowhead Mountain Spring Water. And I suppose you're wondering, what? He's not having a root beer? Right. I'm not because I've had a couple of root beers already today and I thought maybe I should like drink some water. Even though this has got some bubbly in it. It's called black cherry. But I like it. I really like this water. It's really good. Okay. Well, that's about it, man. I'm going to go eat. Hope you guys enjoy your lunch too because, well, it's Friday and, uh, I don't think we're doing anything tonight. I mean, date night's kind of like taking a back seat since we've been trying to lose this weight, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it also is kind of cool because it means we're going to get to spend a lot more Fridays together. And that's what's important. All right, you guys. Catch you later. Have a good lunch. Okay, you guys, I've got four ounces of hamburger, about one of these teaspoons full of mayonnaise, mustard, and kind of a mac sauce that I make, my rest of my Perrier, and four sweet bread and butter pickles, no sugar added. So that's what I am having for the rest of my lunch. Hey everybody, Harry and I had chicken wings and we are done with dinner, but some two people asked us to share how we make keto chow ice cream. So I'm gonna share that with everybody. Now when I make ice cream, I make two servings. We split that between Harry, myself, and my mom. So this is how we do it. You need to do it for your macros, but because we are high protein and lower fat, we lower the amount of fat that we put in. So I have got my avocado oil, and I'm making two servings, so I'm putting in two tablespoons full, okay? Two tablespoons. Don't come two tablespoons, one, whoops, two. Then I am going to make caramel macchiato because it's my new favorite. Mom really likes it too. Yeah, me too, I like it. It's really good, you guys. It's really good. And I'm just gonna do two scoops. You want to put your fat in first, keto chow in second. So what did you put in there for Oops, the fat? Wait a minute. The avocado oil, Harry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I just made a big fat boo-boo mess all over my blender. That's okay. Now, let me get my scale. Got my scale out, move it over. And today, now you can make keto chow with just plain water every day of the week. It tastes wonderful, it's delicious, it makes ice cream, but we've got so delicious, unsweetened, organic coconut milk, and that's what I'm using for my liquid today. Each scoop or pack of keto chow takes 14 ounces of the liquid that you choose. So I've got this on, I'm gonna, Tens it out, and I'm going to put in 28 grams of coconut milk. You can use almond, you can use half, you can use a cup, cup and then get um, the rest in water. We've done all kinds of variations, but I really like the coconut milk because for the coconut milk if you look at the if you look at the ingredients right here it's 45 calories for an entire cup 
it's got four grams of total fat, two grams of carbs, and zero protein for a cup. So basically, we're doing four cups and we're splitting it three ways. So that's pretty good. Right there. And this just makes it so rich and so delicious. Mm -hmm. Now remember you guys, you can use your fat. You can get Kerrygold butter, melt it and use hot water or warm water to make this and it's delicious. You can use the fat of your choice. You can use ghee. You know, you can use coconut oil. You can use avocado oil. You can use olive oil. It's up to you. We use the avocado oil because it works best for us. We really like it. It works super good. We just keep it in the cupboard and that's what we use. You get that at Costco. Yes, we get it at Costco and we get a really good price on it. Now, everything is in here. It's ready to go. All I have to do is mix it. Put it on low. Now, you can make your keto chow a day ahead of time, and you're gonna get a richer, deeper flavor. You're gonna get some um, thickness to it. But I find that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do during the day, and I'd just rather mix it now and just let it mix for a longer amount of time. And my ice cream maker, which is a Cuisinart here, takes 60 minutes. So once I get this going, and just let it go for a while. Then I put it in here. It's delicious. And we split it up three ways. So mom, Harry, and I all split it out. We weigh, Harry makes me weigh it out. You guys. And I do that's not. what we do. Do I? Oops. Yes, Harry, you do. Oh, you don't want you don't want to make sure that I'm not getting more than you? Tell me. What do you think? I, I don't mind. What? <laughs> you guys should... <laughs> you guys should be seeing his face. Harry, honey, don't ever play poker. Don't don't ever play poker. You do not have a poker face. Uh. Your eyeballs are going... Ooh, oh, no, I don't mind. Much? Yeah, right. Anyway, so let me take this. Turn that off. Blend, blend, blend. My keto savory chicken soup came today. I'm so excited they got the big bags in. Very excited. Very excited. So now what I do is I take my ice cream maker and we used for I would say a year. We used a regular ice cream maker. There's ways to make it, but this is the way we do. We just take this, and if we had our regular ice cream maker, we would put it in there and add our ice and, and go from there. But this way, we just get to use the Cuisinart. Is this on the Amazon store? I don't know. Well, you're gonna have to check. Who sent that to you? Jim West, thank you, Jim. He's a connoisseur of ice cream. Oh, yeah. We're pen pals. We're, we're the exper food experimenters back and yeah, forth. Man. These two go nuts. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. Jim has been working on sourdough starter for keto purposes with keto, pro with keto starter you guys so i'm excited for that now in this ice cream maker you need to get it up to just to this paddle line right here just to that paddle line you put the lid on the nice thing about the cuisinart is you can open it up the last five minutes and put in pieces of uh, keto treats 
You can put in keto, uh, like Lily's chocolate chips. You could put in chop up uh, fat bomb, peanut butter fat bomb, some keto cookie dough. You could put in all kinds of good stuff, but you don't need that. So over here, you got the power, the timer. It automatically goes to 60 minutes and you just go start. And that's as easy as this Cuisinart is. That's how easy it is. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. And you guys, come back when it's ice cream because that's all you need to do. But if you have a regular ice cream maker like we used to have, Hamilton Beach, we just put our ice in it, put it on the counter, put our uh, rock salt on it. But that's the recipe that we use every single day, all the time. We don't use heavy cream. We don't use half and half because Harry is dairy sensitive. I can't use almond milk because that causes inflammation for me. So use the milk product that works best for you. Use the fat that works for you. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when it's ice cream. Yes, indeed. The ice cream is ready, but before I dish it up, because I don't want it to melt, I want to go over, because we are done with today, you guys. We are done. Tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast day. It's a high priority day. Eat your protein first. Then fill it in with a little bit of carbs. Don't go over 10 grams. Fill it in with a little bit of fat. Don't go over 30 grams. And move your body. Yes, indeed. But you guys... It's ice cream time, and it's caramel macchiato. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come look at this. Yeah. Woo! Man, that is beautiful ice cream. Oh, yeah. That is creamy, smooth, delicious. And it's a meal. Yes, indeed. Yep, this could be dinner. Look, that is dinner. Look at this. Look, isn't that beautiful? This makes lovely, delicious ice cream. And you guys, we don't use a lot of fat. You know, we each get about, let's see, three divided by 30, 10 grams, just enough for the water, for the fat soluble vitamins to go into it. But before I finish dishing this up, because it will uh, melt and I don't want it to, we're gonna go ahead and close out the video, you guys, but oh man, we got ice cream. Or do you want to? Here, you gotta get a little bit more. Yeah, just give me a bit. Oops. And these are big bowls, you guys, and there's still ice cream in here. Huh, Harry? Oh, yeah. I mean, you get so full on this ice cream, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, you can't, it's hard to eat a whole bowl of this stuff. Because it's a meal. It's a meal. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys. Tomorrow's a new day. Hope everybody had a great day today. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Say hi and goodbye to little Sally girl. Say goodbye, everybody. She says, wait, I want some ice cream. Yeah, you want your ice cream? Yes, she does. Anyway, you guys. <gasps> ring the little bell, as Harry says. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Sally wants ice cream too. Yes, she does. Hers is consistent of ground ham. Ground ham. Would you like some? Would you like some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, mommy made a mess. Where'd mommy put the other piece? There it is. Okay, say goodbye, say goodnight. Good night, everyone.